this is God's house, and he is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. This is God's house, and he is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. This is God's house, and he is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. This is God's house, and he is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. Everybody, it's Miss Beth coming to you from Faith Lutheran Church here in Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, we are so glad, Pastor John and I, to have you here for this week's Growing in Grace. Now, this weekend is a holiday weekend because the 4th of July happens on Sunday. And a lot of people travel around this time of year, right? They go on a trip, they go on a vacation, they go out, maybe they just go to the beach for the day. You know, it's summer. That's what a lot of people do. And the great thing about Growing in Grace is that you can watch it anywhere because it's not just in one place. Just like the love of God isn't just in one place. It goes with us wherever we go. And we're going to hear a story today about some of Jesus' friends who went on a trip. But it wasn't a vacation, and it wasn't to visit some relatives and some people they knew, and it wasn't to go to the beach. You'll have to tune in and find out. Thanks so much for worshiping with us today. I'll see you in just a bit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our story time in Growing in Grace, and happy Independence Day weekend. I don't know if you're going to get out to see some fireworks at a park or someplace like that. If your neighborhood is like mine, you don't even have to go to a park. There are so many people shooting off fireworks in the neighborhood that we could just look out the window and have a show. Anyway, we're not here to talk about fireworks. We're here to talk about our Bible story this week which comes out of the Bible from Mark chapter 6. <clears throat> Jesus has been doing a lot of work. He has been teaching people about God's love for them, but more importantly, he's been showing people how much God loves them by the way he has cared for so many people in many different ways. But this work is work that can't only be done by one person. So in today's story, Jesus gets himself some helpers. Jesus called together his 12 friends and began to send them out two by two. He sent them out to find people who were sick or troubled or who had any kind of need. He told them they didn't need to take anything with them for their journey except maybe a walking stick. They didn't need to take food or money just to travel light. He told them that they would find people who will welcome them into their homes and take care of them. And he said, when you are welcomed into a home, stay there while you do your work of caring for people. If any place does not welcome you and they refuse to hear what you have to say, he said, just shake off the dust from your feet and go on your way. So, Jesus' friends went out. They had a message to tell that people should turn their lives toward Jesus. And they spent their time with many people who were sick or troubled or had any kind of need. And the people they spent time with, they felt better. Well, we are going to play a game this morning. The game is called Guess Where Miss Beth is Going. <gasps> I'm gonna give you some clues and see if you can figure it out. You ready for your first clue? Here it comes. The first clue is a snack. The second clue is sunscreen. The third clue is a bucket. The fourth clue is a towel. There we go, got my towel around me. And the fifth clue is one of these. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Did you figure it out? Do you know where I'm going? Where is it? If you said the beach, you're right. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> yeah, you know, 
I got all the stuff I need for a day at the beach, right? I've got uh, all the things I showed you, plus I also got my bag with my bathing suit in there and, and some water and, you know, some extras, uh, my book to read while I'm laying on the beach, all kinds of good stuff, right? You know, Jesus, though, in the story that we just heard, he told his friends to go out with nothing. No towels, no sunscreen, no snack. Oh, <gasps> whoa! That's kind of scary, isn't it? Except he said, you don't really need all that stuff. I don't. I, well, then how am I going to keep from getting hungry or sunburned or wet or dry or whatever? He says, you don't need that for what you're going out to do. Because what he sent his friends out to do is to help people. And you don't need a whole bunch of stuff and big bags and all kinds of things like that to help people, do you? No, you just got to help them. And he said, the people that you go to see are going to say, come on in and be really happy to have some help. So that's all you need. Now, did he send them out alone in the story? Do you remember? Mm -mm. Nope, he sent them out two by two. Sent them out with another friend. So they weren't alone. And he said, go and help people and share my love with them. Oh, and you don't need to have anything. You don't need to have any fancy words or crazy, you know, things to help people. You just need to have the love of Jesus in your heart. And be willing to share that with people and share people share with people how awesome that love is so i hope when you go out wherever you're going this holiday weekend or this summer or any time um that you uh, in addition to whatever you're taking with you to the beach take the love of jesus and look for ways that you can share that love with other people how awesome is that i have a lot of tools Sometime I'll show you a picture of my workshop that is filled with tools. I brought one of them with me today. It's my favorite power drill. It's a lot of noise, but boy, does it work well. Um, and I have a lot of other tools. A lot of them are just too big to bring with me. So I brought a couple of pictures of my big tools. Here's one of them that's too big to bring with me to church. It's my table saw. I use this to make big projects. And here's another one that's too big to bring along. It weighs about 100 pounds. It's my lathe. I have made all kinds of things with my tools. I have made tables and chairs and bookcases. I have made cabinets and dressers and a headboard for a bed. And I made candle holders and bowls and lamps. I also use my tools to fix things. Uh, one time I fixed a 100 year old mirror and a little chair for the boy who used to live next door. But there are some things I cannot fix with my table saw. I can make a table, but can I make a family? Nope, can't. Um, and there are some things I can fix with my power drill. I can fix a door. But if someone hurts your feelings, can I fix your hurt feelings with something like this? No, no way. But you do have a powerful tool, a powerful power tool that you can use when it's time to fix things that a tool like this won't fix. And it's just three simple words. That's all, three simple words. What do you think those three simple words could be? I might be hearing somebody say, I love you. Good choice. Somebody saying, be kind anyway. Good. How about, I believe you. That's a good one. How are you? That's a good one. How about, I appreciate you. All those are excellent choices. Uh, here are the three words I was thinking of. I will listen. When you tell somebody that you are willing to stop and listen to what they are saying, you have given them a very important gift. You are giving them the gift of somebody who cares. That may not seem like very much, and it may not seem very important, but trust me, as you get older, meeting people who will give you their not only their ears, but attach their ears to their heart and really listen to you, 
that is one of the most important gifts you will ever receive from anybody. And while you may not be able to fix hurt feelings with those words, um, those people might feel better knowing that somebody cares and is willing to listen to how they feel. Today's story about Jesus sending out his 12 friends to care for other people, that happened a long time ago. But you know what? Jesus is still sending his friends out to care for and to listen to other people. And we are those friends of Jesus. So with all that in mind, I thought of some signs for today. Most of them are signs we've already learned. So, for example, the sign for listen. I will listen to you. That's a good one. But there's a better sign than that. And it's when you hold your two hands out like this by the side of your head and you move them toward the person. That means I am really paying attention to you. I am focused on just you. It's like having blinders on to everything else. Okay, that's listen. I uh, think we've done the sign for feel. Make your middle finger bend in a little bit and touch it near your heart. That's the sign for feel. And when you listen to somebody, they might feel good. From your lips down to your hand, feel good. And uh, the last sign is care. Like two peace signs, put them together and make them go in a circle toward the person. I care about you. So when Jesus listens to us, we feel good because we know he cares. All right, everybody, it's time for our song. And this week's song is the kind of song you sing when you're going somewhere. Whether it's going out of church at the end of the service into the rest of your day and the rest of your week, or whether it's getting ready to go on a trip, whether it's getting ready to go to school or go wherever you're going to go in your day. It's called Go Now in Peace, because that's the best way to go, right? Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere you may go. The words are a little fancy sounding, but the message is so good. God is with us wherever we go. Now, I don't have any emotions for this song because I have my ukulele with me today. So if you at home want to make up some motions that go with this, maybe use some of the sign language you've been learning from Pastor John uh, while you sing the song, that's awesome. And we'll sing it together. Are you ready to worship God with our voices? All right, here we go. So you may not know this, but last Sunday, as a surprise, we ended up back inside the church for our worship service because we thought it was going to rain really hard and be really windy. So this weekend, July 3rd and July 4th, are the official return to worship inside our sanctuary. Saturday night at 5 o'clock, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, just like it used to be. Uh, so I hope maybe we'll start to see you back in church sometime soon. So before we say goodbye, we'll have our prayer, of course. So if you're ready, repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for your love. You listen when we pray to you. And it makes us feel good to know you listen. Help us listen to others the way you listen to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Very good. 
Look forward to seeing you next time. I hope you have a fun Independence Day weekend on the 3rd and the 4th. And be safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.